hello viewers welcome back to our channel welcome back to a diy uh for today today we'll be making a lovely traveling bag unlike the usual uh, ghana must go or luggage bag this one is a traveling bag so the measurements we'll be using we'll be using this material we'll be using a belt a pin and a zip cloth including zip teeth so this measurement, the measurement we'll be using today is 17 inches long by 13 inches by uh, on uh, the height, 13 inches. This is the 17 inches by 13. I have cut it out. I came in this way by 3 inches, came down by 3 inches and curved it. Use something curved it to make this curve. Then at the bottom, I came up by 1.5. I came in by 1.5 and I used something to make this curve. This is it. I cut out two pieces, two pieces of this. So we'll cut out two pieces of this. We will determine the zipper part. I will be using a size 7 uh, zip cloth for this. We will be determining the zipper by getting either two inches less than half of this. That is when I fold it into two equals, then two inches less, lesser than two inches lesser than this that's what i will measure from here around this way to this place that will be my zipper and from this place measure it round measure it round down to this place will be the base so i'll be measuring that and uh, the width of the side will be by 10 inches that's what we'll be doing now keep watching like i told you before we will not be detailing everything because i don't want our videos to be lengthy at all i want a situation where we can get a tutorial on one clip on one video and not getting a part one part two so this is what we'll be doing we'll measure it around get what it is we'll measure it by 10 we'll measure here around get what it is and measure it by 10. I've measured it round from this point to the other point. We have 26 inches. Why the base is 29. So you'll be measuring it 26 inches by the width you want. We need 10 inches width, then 29 by 10. But don't forget to add one one inch for sewing allowance. That's to say the 26 plus one, we will be having 27. Why the 29 plus one, we'll be having 30 inches. That's what we'll be doing right now. If you want to use an interface, a lining, you will use this one to cut out your lining. I cut out a 9.5, 17 by 9.5 inch for the front pocket. And I made a curve here. I made this curve. 3 by 3 inches curve. You can decide to leave it straight. Before I will put my zip or work on this pocket side. I'll place it on this 17 by 13 inches. Use my chalk to draw out this shape so that after fixing the, the zipper on the pocket, it will be easy for me to attach it on the main body. I have cut out my side, my, my zipper side and the uh, and the base have cut them out. So on the zipper side, I'll divide it into two, put my zipper in between. If you are using a lining, you'll use your lining to turn the zipper. So that at the end of the tutorial, you will not be, you will not need, you will not need much. So this is it. This is the front, the front part of this work. You see the front. I have added the zipper. I put. I used. I just used this strap for a design on it. I've added the zipper. You see the zipper, and I've already also added the handle. The same thing I did on the back side. I have added the handle on the back side. So what you will do now is to pick the zipper part. You see the zipper part now? You see how lovely it looks inside? When you pick the zipper part, then you 
fold it into two equals, notch the midpoint, place it knit point to knit point, then you sew it. Come and see our work is so beautiful. Come and see our work is so beautiful. If you put hard work into your skill, the outcome is so nice. Oh. Come and see my own. See, our outcome is so wonderful. It's beautiful. Come and see our outcome is so beautiful. If you put creativity into hard work, the result is so nice. Oh. The result now, wow. <laughs> Come and see our outcome is so wonderful. Come and see how it's coming so beautiful. If you add hard work to creativity, the outcome is something else. The outcome is wow. <laughs> wow, this is the outcome of what we've been doing. You see how wide it is. It is spacious, you know. With this, your journey is... Uh, uh, let us go. This is the zipper. I use the size 7 because what we are doing is what that should last. We want our customers to always return back for another purchase. You see how lovely it is? It is fully lined and toned, well toned. I added this uh, during for a shoulder strap. In case you want to add a shoulder strap, you add it here. I put it on the both side. You add the shoulder strap. This is the back side. You'll see how I tucked the handle to add longevity and lasting strength to the bag. You see, everything about this bag is just awesome, just beautiful. You see the material used. Like I told you, the size of the handle is 1.5 inch. And we used 27 inches, 27 inches long. That is what we did from the middle. We notched the midpoint and we got 2.5, 2.5. From the 2.5, we placed our handle. After placing our handle, we placed, we fixed the zipper part. We divided the one of the, the 27 inches by 10 and we fixed our zipper. Then the during attach the bottom and attached it to the main body and this is what we got as a result of all we've been explaining starting from the cutting to the sewing this one i just added it as a design you can decide to add it you can decide to leave it the way it is but everything about this bag i must say is 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 is, is beautiful it's a good one Thank you for watching us. Very soon we'll be making a detailed video on how to stitch after cutting and not just cutting. Very soon we'll be making a detailed video as usual. But for now, I think uh, this class should be for advanced uh, tellers, bag makers. Because for advanced, for those who are already into bag makers, I know they will understand what I am talking about and looking at what the outcome is they will understand what I have done. They will understand what I have done. Thank you so much for standing by. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. We love you all. Bye.